Hello and good day. Welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview, book of 1 Samuel, chapter 9. Let's get started now. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 9 tells the story of how Saul, the first king of Israel, came to be anointed by Samuel as the leader of the Israelite people. The chapter begins by introducing Saul, a young man from the tribe of Benjamin, who is sent by his father to search for some lost donkeys. As he travels through the land, he comes across the city of Zuf, where he meets a man named Samuel. Unbeknownst to Saul, Samuel is a prophet of God who has been instructed by God to anoint him as king over Israel. Samuel invites Saul to a feast and tells him that he is the one whom God has chosen to be the king of Israel. Initially, Saul is hesitant to accept this calling, feeling unworthy and unqualified for such an important role. However, Samuel assures him that God will be with him and guide him in his leadership. Samuel then anoints Saul with oil as a sign of his appointment as king, and reveals to him several signs that will confirm his appointment. These signs include meeting three men who will give him bread, meeting two men near Rachel's tomb, and hearing the sound of a procession of prophets. Saul sets out on his journey home, and each of the signs that Samuel had told him about come to pass. The third sign, in particular, is significant, as it marks the beginning of Saul's prophetic ministry. As he encounters the procession of prophets, the Spirit of God comes upon him, and he begins to prophesy along with them. The story of 1 Samuel 9 teaches us several important lessons. Firstly, it shows us the importance of being open to God's calling in our lives, even when it comes unexpectedly. Saul was simply searching for some lost donkeys when he was chosen to be king, demonstrating that God's plans for our lives may not always align with our own plans. Secondly, the story teaches us about the importance of humility and recognizing our own inadequacies. When Saul was first approached by Samuel, he was hesitant to accept the role of king because he felt unworthy and unqualified. However, Samuel assured him that God would be with him and guide him in his leadership, reminding us that we can trust in God's provision and guidance even when we feel inadequate. Thirdly, the story of 1 Samuel 9 also teaches us about the power of the Holy Spirit. As Saul encounters the procession of prophets, the Spirit of God comes upon him and he begins to prophesy along with them. This is a powerful reminder that the Holy Spirit empowers and equips us for the work that God has called us to do. Finally, the story of Saul's anointing as king points us towards Jesus Christ, who is the ultimate king and savior. As Saul was anointed with oil as a sign of his appointment, so too was Jesus anointed by the Holy Spirit at his baptism as a sign of his appointment as the Messiah and savior of the world. In conclusion, the story of 1 Samuel 9 teaches us about the importance of being open to God's calling, recognizing our own inadequacies, the power of the Holy Spirit, and the ultimate kingship of Jesus Christ. May we all seek to follow God's calling in our lives, trusting in His provision and guidance, and being empowered by the Holy Spirit for the work that He has called us to do. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back, here for our next video. Always take good care.